uh, there's a girl uh, running down the street being like, her stepfather is killing everyone in her family. And what did the female say to you? And she says that her stepfather is killing everybody in her house. I did. I'm call I'm on the phone with them right now. Did she say how or what was happening? I asked her, I asked her to get in the car with me and she said she couldn't leave her family. Have you ever wondered what could drive a parent to commit such a heinous act? How could they plan it for months? How could they shoot their own children in cold blood? In this video, we will explore the chilling details of this horrific case, from the initial invitation to the nap to the final confrontation with the police. We will also examine the motive behind this horrific act and the psychological state of Doberman before and after the murders. In the darkest corners of human existence, there are stories that defy comprehension. These are some of the questions that haunt us all after the shocking and tragic case of Chad Doberman a father who allegedly killed his three sons in a brutal attack on June 15, 2023. Stories like this can be described as unspeakable horror. As the police struggled to arrest him, his wife's desperate words echoed through the air, accusing him of the unimaginable, the murder of their own children. The question that haunts us all, what could drive a parent to commit such a heinous act? How could they plan it for months? The events unfolded on a quiet road in Claremont County, Ohio, where passersby were shaken by the cries of a terrified girl who had fled her home. In a shocking twist, this horrifying tale began with an innocent invitation. It was just a seemingly normal afternoon in June 2023. Little did they know that this ordinary afternoon would turn into a nightmare. Without warning, Doberman reached for a rifle and shot four-year-old Hunter twice in the head. The chaos that ensued defies belief. His stepdaughter, just 12 years old, rushed to protect her injured brother and tried to stop him from shooting again. She managed to knock the rifle away from him and ran out of the bedroom with Chase in her arms. In a moment of despair, the wife seized the rifle, causing her to sustain a gunshot wound to her hand and unintentionally putting their son in danger by placing him within the range of the Doberman's attack. The daughter's bravery prevailed as she urged her remaining brothers to flee. In a horrifying turn of events, seven-year-old Clayton was ruthlessly gunned down in a nearby field, followed by an attempt to kill his three-year-old brother, Chase, but the attempt was prevented due to a gun malfunction. The stepdaughter called the 911 for help, refusing to abandon her loved ones. The scene left officers stunned as they arrived at 4 p.m to find Doberman sitting calmly by the door, seemingly unaffected by the carnage around him. His bizarre calmness contrasted sharply with his wife's agonizing cries for help, captured on footage from the crime scene. Stop your hands now! Stand up and Stand walk, up walk towards us! Stand, Stand the up. fuck up! Get the EMS over here. Well, I, I did drugs when I was with, but I don't do drugs now. I'm sober. I'm not trying to f He took my life from me! My life! Nine shots were fired that fateful afternoon, and the motive behind this horrifying act remained a perplexing mystery. But as Doberman's one-night stay in police custody unfolded, the reality began to sink in. His resistance to wearing the provided jumpsuit and the struggle against the handcuffs were stark indicators of his inner turmoil. He was about to face the cold, harsh reality of his actions as he prepared for his first court appearance. Just outside the courtroom, an officer's attempts to assist Doberman in controlling his emotions were futile. It seems it was at that point he knew how messed up he really was. Doberman seems to be having trouble focusing and could be going through a dissociative episode. This is when the mind emotionally disconnects from its surroundings due to extreme stress or trauma. It's not unusual for people in Doberman's situation to experience this. It could explain why he seemed emotionless at the crime scene. He may have been suppressing his feelings for so long that they are now overwhelming him. The motive behind all this remained elusive, leaving detectives and reporters baffled. Inside the courtroom, Doberman pleaded not guilty in court on June 23 to the 21 charges against him after confessing to executing his three boys. Clayton hunter and chase with a rifle the judge ordered him held without bail while awaiting a pretrial hearing on july 5. 
The trial is expected to be one of the most gruesome and shocking in Ohio history. Prosecutors have called Doberman one of the most monstrous, craven, cowardly acts that will ever be our misfortune of seeing. We know that one of the boys was able to flee and to a field in his home. And again, we know from his admission, father hunted that boy down, drug him back to the property, and executed him in front of witnesses. He's confessed to what I believe is the worst crime, at least I hope, that I'll see in my lifetime. As the prosecutor requested his bail to be set at a staggering $20 million, it became clear that Doberman was considered both a flight risk and a danger to society. The prosecutor even declared this a death penalty case, seeking the ultimate punishment for a man who brutally ended the lives of his own flesh and blood. Doberman's defense team has argued that he is mentally ill and suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and paranoia. They have also claimed that he was under the influence of drugs and alcohol at the time of the murders, and that he acted in self-defense when his wife attacked him with a knife. The trial is scheduled to begin on August 1 at the Clermont County Courthouse in Batavia. It will be open to the public, but a gag order has been put in place to prevent any leaks or disruptions. The murderer himself said that the killing was not an accident, but a planned act. Neighbors' accounts described Doberman as a man with a temper, and his criminal record included a charge of domestic violence in 2010. His father, Keith, could offer no explanation for his son's actions, stating that Chad had simply snapped. But what was driving Doberman to commit such a horrific act? What was the motive behind this killing spree? According to court documents filed in Clermont County, Doberman had been planning his son's murders for months. He had also told police that he had not slept in the three or four days leading up to the murders because the thoughts of having to kill his sons were so heavy on him. Doberman's motive remains unknown, but some possible explanations have been suggested by experts and media outlets. One possible motive is mental illness. It's possible that Doberman suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, paranoia, or other mental health issues that impair his judgment and impulse control. He may have also been influenced by drugs or alcohol that affect his mood and behavior. Another possible motive is domestic violence. It's likely that Doberman has a history of abusing his wife physically or emotionally, which could explain why he shot her when she tried to stop him from killing their sons. He may have also felt threatened or jealous of her relationship with their sons. The conclusion to this dark tale is yet uncertain, but one thing remains clear. Chad Doberman must face justice for his inhumane crimes.